Welcome to our Angular 4 tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with file uploads. One of our viewers has run into a problem while trying to install the ng2 file upload package. They received some error messages and are struggling to get their file upload feature to work. Let's break down the question and see how we can help. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue you're facing with the ng2 file upload package in your Angular 4 application. First, the error message indicates an unmet peer dependency. This usually means that the package you're trying to install requires a specific version of another package that isn't installed. To resolve this, ensure that you have the correct version of the required dependencies installed. You can check the documentation for ng2-file upload to find out which versions are compatible with Angular 4. Next, let's look at the error message regarding the uploader property. This error typically occurs when the file upload module is not properly imported into the module where your component is declared. In your case, you mentioned that you imported file upload module in the registration module. Make sure that the personal info component is declared in the same module or that the module is imported correctly in the app module. Finally, if everything is set up correctly and you're still facing issues, try restarting your Angular application. Sometimes changes in module imports require a fresh start to take effect. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To upload images in Angular 4 without using a plugin, you can follow a few key steps. First, use the request method instead of post. Next, send form data directly in the body of your request. Additionally, Customize your header items by creating a new request options object. Remember, when sending form data with image content, you need to remove the content type header. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. In Angular 4, you can handle file uploads without needing extra libraries. You can use the onFileChange method to capture files from an input event. Additionally, you can implement drag and drop functionality using various host listener decorators. Now you're ready to upload files using both drag and drop as well as through a button click. You can also upload additional data along with the files. For more detailed information, check out the complete article on Angular 4 file uploads. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To implement file upload in Angular 4, start by creating a shared module. This module will include necessary directives and the file upload module. Next, import the shared module into your app module to make the file upload functionality available throughout your application. Lastly, consider exploring lazy loading in Angular 4 for better performance and organization of your modules. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can easily implement file upload in Angular 4 without any external libraries. Here's a simple example. In the upload method, we create a form data object to hold the files and additional data. Finally, we call a service to upload the file and handle the response or error accordingly. For more detailed information, you can visit the provided link. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement file upload in Angular 4, start with an HTML input element for file selection. Use the change event to trigger a function when a file is selected. In your TypeScript component, Create a form group to manage the file input. Use the onFileChange method to set the selected file in the form. Finally, use the postImage method to send the file to your server. Create a form data object, append the file, and make an HTTP POST request. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.